How's it going, y'all? Okay, so this is part two. Me learning, trying to teach, trying to learn uh, to speak um, uh, Tongan. So I'm gonna repeat some of the uh, the stuff from last time because I I mispronounced and I uh, you know just wanna kind of document me practicing, uh, learning it right. Um, thank you to Colton for helping me out. Um, I, I realized after I went back over and looked at my notes uh, where I messed up. And then also this time I brought notes right here in front of me. You guys can't see them. So um, occasionally I'm going to look down so that I don't I don't mess it up like I did last time. Because I hope nobody trying to learn looked at my last one because they they'd be saying stuff wrong. Okay, so we're going to start with hello. Hello is um, uh, Malo Elele. Uh, I missed, <coughs> last time I missed uh, E, the uh, vowel sound uh, before Lele. So it's Malo Elele. Hello. Uh, how are you? Um, Fefe Hake. Fefe Hake. And uh, to two people, Mo Fefe Hake. And three or more, Mo Fefe Hake. Tell me if I said that right. Mo fefe hake for two people. Mo fefe hake for three people or more. Okay. Uh, I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. Thank you. Um, uh, saipe malo. Saipe malo. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, goodbye. Uh, toke see you. Um, that's like an informal way. And then uh, uh, if I'm leaving, I would say aloha. No, 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 they're leaving. I say aloha. If I'm leaving, I say no foa. No foa. Okay. Um, oh, on the greetings, if somebody is uh, older, um, kind of like in Tagalog when we say uh, ho, ho for like, for like respect, um, a Tongan says, uh, um, uh oh, Fefe, Fefe Aloa. No, no, Faka Aloa. Faka Aloa. Hold on, let me check my notes. Yes, said it right. Faka Aloa. Faka aloa. And, um, okay. Faka aloa. Okay. So, got that. Um, some new stuff uh, that I learned. Oh, uh, what's your name? Kohai ho hingwa. Kohai ho hingwa. What's your name? And then, uh, my name is Mustafa. So, uh, ko Mustafa ao? Ko Mustafa ao? Okay. Uh, pronouns. So, basic pronouns. Um, I is, um, is, uh, ao. You, koe. And, uh, can somebody explain the difference between koe and ki? Because I think I've, saw some sentences where it looks like they were saying key you know what i'm saying so anyway um the difference between that so i is ao you kue and then uh him her or he he her he she it yeah yeah okay uh, i'm not going to tackle the we and you and the plural, plural ones, we and they, uh, I need to practice that some more because that's kind of confusing. But um, I did kind of look that one up. Uh, if you're telling somebody to sit down, it's uh, um, no fukilala. Is that right? No fukilalo. No fukilalo. Okay. Uh, yes, I remember that one. Io. Io, that's like saying I in uh, Italian, which I'm going to do another video, by the way, Italian, because I'm trying to learn Italian. Io. And then, uh, Ikae. Ikae is no. Ikae. Io, yes. Ikae, no. 
Um, okay, now I'm going to go to my notes. Oh, excuse me. Too low. Too low is excuse me. And then please. Kata katake. Katake. So excuse me. Too low. Please. Katake. Come is uh, alo. No, no, that's go, isn't it? Yeah, alo. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Hao. Ha <coughs> Excuse me. So come is hao. And go is alo. Alu. Alu. Alu is go. And come is hao. Okay. So it's got the little. What do they call that thing? That little apostrophe thing. Okay. So did I miss anything? Alu kife. Uh, where are you going? And then sit down. No. No fukilalo is no fukilalo sit down and uh alo kife where are you going okay so oh you know what uh the alphabet so uh i'm a little bit shy to do this one because i'm a dude you know what i mean we don't really sing like that so uh bear with me um a -e -fa -ha. A e fa ha, a e fa ha, i kala, i kala, mana nga opasa, mana nga opasa, ta uva, ta uva. Okay, I said I was gonna post it, so I did. All right, have a good day, y'all.